Welcome to Kiwi's Channel. Hope you enjoy it. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. You're not going to let a little good natural reading get under your skin, are you? What? Huh? Gosh, I hope I didn't make you feel bad. I was just trying to get Frank's attention. Frank? Yeah, he pays a lot of attention. He's a sap cookie, that one. Something tells me he doesn't miss a trick. I never thank you for helping me with the flowers. Oh, Fiona, you know I do anything for you. Anything? Because I have got to do something about Persimmon. She wants fresh flower every day. How am I supposed to do that? You've forgotten your old man is no sloth. I got you a present. Dad, what has a book got to do with growing flowers? I give you ancient technology. The home and truck catalog. They've got all your supplies from A to Z. Dad, I can't believe it. This catalog thing is amazing. They have everything in here. Gee, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. Uh, Jake, that shack you've got been overrun by raccoons. You might want to get back there before they carry off the roof. It sounds like the lake is getting a little white now that the cold is coming on. To be honest, those raccoons have been harassing me all summer. I woke up this morning and two of them were curled up in my sleeping bag. That's awful. You can live like that. If only we had a giant book full of all the modern amenities. Look, this would be perfect. The Echo Green Greenhouse is perfect for growing flowers, vegetables, and herbs. Create a tropical paradise in any climate. Do you know what this means? Not only do you get a warm place to live, but you can grow all of Persimmon's flowers. Well, I'm not sure. It's perfect. It solves all my problems. Oh, and yours too. Mine too? But... You know what? Leave everything to me. You should get back to Island Park and start cleaning up. Fiona, I'm not so sure. That's okay. That's why you have me. I'm positive. If you say so. Oh, I do. One down, one to go. That's my girl. Dad? I think it's time to check things up a little. Does the catalog have any clothing? Fabric? I bet they even have a loom if you want to go all the way back to basics. I think it's best to leave the weaving to the professional. You don't mind, do you? The deal still stands. You're in charge of what people wear and I profit all the rest. You're the best. Remember you said the next time you were mad at me? Chips get the sawmill. Jessica handed the coffee over to that Jenny girl. And I'm left sweeping up at the general store. No wonder mama has always hated the Carlisles. The family never has treated us with any respect. 
this place must have been some rowdy saloon back in my great granddad's day. I probably would not be sweeping the floor if I had been around back then. Now then, I know something is hidden in here. How did Uncle Robert put it? A brick does nothing like the other bricks? Now, why would anyone hide a musty bag of old musket balls? It's like they've been gathering dust in here since JW was running the place. What? The thing I really don't get is, why Charlotte jump? It doesn't make any sense. I just don't understand your obsession with your great great grandmother. Soon you spend more time worrying about the family stalker. Uncle Robert, don't tell me you don't see the connection. Carla start dying mysteriously right after your mother's suicide. Next, you're going to tell me you think it's her ghost? Don't get KJ. Every time I bring up Charles' death, you get KJ. I'm trying to put the piece together on almost a century of dead treats. If we're going to solve this thing, we have to turn over every rock. You know. What happened when you turn over the wrong rock? You find something you don't want to see. I'll risk it to figure out who's been threatening our family for three generations. Yes, as the only colors to live past 60, I'm telling you to leave my mother's dad out of it. I know you've gotten used to everyone in this town following orders, but a new day has dawned. I love you, but I'm going to do this my way. I'm not going to be like Bobby and Chip doing whatever you say without question. Bobby, I had no idea you were back there. Jenny asked me to bring some things from the general store. I was just putting them away. Let me put that in the bag for you. Thanks for watching.